All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us his truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's doing this work. Like Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai commanded us to do. And uh, today's video you can see on your screen. I guess we're going to entitle this 250 year anniversary. It says United States semi quint Centennial, if I'm pronouncing it right, event, and that's what I typed up. And I originally got this uh, through the spirit of uh, the Apostle uh, Ramlaw did a video. Uh, uh, I want to say about, I think it was either Thursday or Friday. I was at the plantation, and I was uh, kind of listening to it uh, during one of my uh, breaks. And, uh, Man, it was fire too, man, you know, and uh, I couldn't listen to the whole thing at the time, so I think he went live, him and one of the, uh, uh, another elder that was with him. And uh, so what I did, I listened to the rest of it once I got off. And uh, so, and, and that video was going into, you know, most kingdoms last, you know, a, a period of 250 years. And uh, that's why I typed up 250 year anniversary. And you can see it at the bottom of the screen. Well, not the actual bottom, but under this, uh, this uh, you can see this image here. Okay. And this, you know, going into what's the 250 year anniversary of the United States. And I did my math on it, I calculated, and it says this date starts on, and I didn't know at the time, but I'm seeing it now. It has uh, this date right here, you know, 202, oh, so like it says 2026 is the 250 year anniversary. You know, uh, adding the um, year, uh, you know, 17, uh, 76, okay, and it says the United States semi centennial was also called the semi centennial or quarter millennia, which would be the 250 year anniversary of uh, of the night uh, 1776 United States uh, Declaration of Independence festival will be scheduled. To mark various events leading up to the anniversary on July uh, 4, 2026. Okay. And now, the video, what I got out of the video, or the video that uh, the Apostle uh, of Ramblah was playing, uh, he said it was one of, one of the brothers sent it to him. And I, I was trying to see if I could find it online, but I, I just typed this up and just to see. If it would give me anything, okay. Uh, but I didn't actually go too far in, in, into it to see was a video that was that I if I could find the video. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, two hundred and fifty years is how long the. Uh, the Lord gives different kingdoms, you know? So 2026 would be the anniversary of this place, Babylon the Great. So the Lord are going to do away with it. I mean, who's to say when and where, but that sounds like a pretty, you know, spot on date. You know, you know me, I was thinking next year, <laughs> you know, but hey, the, the you know the, the 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 faster the better, okay. So, and, and that pretty much gave me this idea of uh, why not type this up. Uh, let's put shorter, which this is one of the uh one of the beautiful uh scriptures that we always I think it's one in Matthews. Uh, also, it's one also in uh, the book of uh, Second Edges. Uh, I think it's Second Edges. Uh, matter of fact, 
Let's see. But for some reason, I'm thinking this in the uh, uh, Book of Baru. But anyway, let's see if we can get it in the second edge. I think this, uh, you know, I'm thinking that it's in there. Which, you know, I, I got a very short memory. <laughs> but I pray for, you know, uh, I pray for a, a, a better memory than what I have now to make it, you know. Hey, and it's going to be a beautiful thing when the Lord says, uh, take no thought of what you shall say when you bring in front of the king, uh, kings and, you know, because the Lord is going to give us, you know, uh, uh, the things to say, you know, I, and I, that's a, that's a blessing definitely for me all in one, you know, so, you know, the Lord is definitely going to have to be dealing, <laughs> dealing with me if, you know, if I'm putting that predicament or that situation to, uh, you know, no, not know what to say. Okay, this is second edge. Uh, the one that's the one I'm looking for. The Wadi Habashimi Abshah, second edge is uh, two and verse 12. Yeah, it says, uh, let's start at verse 11. Second edge of chapter two and eleven it says their glory their glory was their glory also will I take unto me, and I give these the everlasting tabernacles which I have prepared for them. They shall have the tree of life for an ointment of sweet savior. They shall neither labor nor be weary. Go and ye shall receive pray for fewer days unto you. That they might be shortened. The kingdom is uh, already prepared for you. Watch. Okay. So that's the mindset that we have. You know. Through the spirit. To pray for fewer days. Even though. You know. They have a date started on 2026. Which is his 25th year. Or 250 year anniversary. Of Babylon the Great. Okay. Hopefully that. You know. It won't go a second over, you know. So that's what we're doing. We're praying for fewer days. And Lord willing, you know, this is uh, the time we've been out, uh, you know, praying to, uh, this place to be over and done with, man. Because it's just, you know, the women are out of order, you know, and this place is out of order. You know, everywhere you look, you know, it's something to, you know, to oppress you. You know, and uh, I think it was another thing that I was on my mind dealing with. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, well, I, I saw on Instagram was talking about how the uh, toilet paper. I said forever chemicals and uh, they said it's in the... Uh, uh, what is it? The contact lens and the solution, man. <laughs> and I, I just seen it as I was looking up for it, looking at, you know, looking up this here. Okay. It says toilet paper is a huge source of harmful forever chemicals. Two thousand. It's March second, two thousand twenty-three. You know, this is the year, the uh, the hopeful year of our prophecy to come to pass. So it's a global. Study finds harmful PFAS chemicals in toilet paper and sewage. Here's what to know. Hey, and to have this in, you know, everybody has to wipe their ass, you know. That's showing you, man, that this, this, this is just an oppressing kingdom. Okay. So let's, let's look up, uh. Uh, you know, they got this bamboo type of, uh, what is, uh, toilet paper. Uh, who's to say that ain't, you know, you just, man, that's why we praying for fewer days. It's just, uh, forever chemicals and, you know, why are they, 
you know, and you know that forever chemicals are also in the uh, uh, what is it? In the Teflon, you see, Teflon pans. It's in tap water, okay. So it's everywhere. Hey, this devil is just he's the, he's the wicked, okay. He's that man that's built for destruction, okay. And you know this is just a uh, you know something quick that uh, you know because I hadn't done a video today and just you know it's just so much man that that you could make videos on and you know but this is this is that man because people you know you can you can tell them but you know it's up to them to listen. Well, ultimately, this is how Bashimi Abishai is going to actually give him the spirit to listen or, or not. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and 3 says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Okay? He's that man of sin. Okay? And he's killing you at the same time, like the scriptures, you know, saying he's, don't be deceived by him. Don't let no man deceive you. Okay? No matter what kind of uh, things that he's putting in front of you to make him think that he's this, this glorious man that can cure everything. And at the same time, he's, a, he's making these things to harm you. Okay. They said, do you, do you, do your contact lenses contain cancer causing PFAs? A new consumer study found that many popular contact lenses have elevated levels of forever chemicals. All 18 contact lenses. See? Hey. Like the scripture said, there would be no left no flesh left. Let's let's see if we can grab that. Uh, no flesh left. Okay. Uh, let's see. How is it? no flesh left to be saved? Because uh, if it was up to this this devil, you know he he'll kill everything, man. Uh, let's see if we can find it like this. Matthew's twenty four and twenty two. Let's see if that's what it is. Twenty four and twenty two. Uh. Matthews 24 and 22. Okay. Aside of verse 21, Matthews chapter 24 and 21. For then shall be great tribulation such as was not seen, uh, was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor now. No, nor, no, nor ever shall be, except there be, except those days be short. And again, once again, that's the scripture I was looking for. It says, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay. So the Lord has to shorten the days, <laughs> you know. Because in the other way, this devil has been to kill everybody, including himself. You know? Hey, I'm not, I i don't want to make this video too long, but just, just to show you that this 250 year, it has to be <laughs> sooner, uh, uh, sooner than later. You know? Uh, let's, you know what? Let's, let's, let's try this. How long did kingdoms last? Uh, how 
How long did the average? 250 years. It says, how long did the average kingdom last? 250 years. Studies show that an empire survives on an average of a mere 250 years. You know? Ooh, it says the average uh, empire survives for 250 years. On the average, a mere 250 years. Uh... Wait a minute. It says, ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that. It says the average empire survives for 250 years. Is America at death's door? Hmm. And this is, uh, like this was uh, published December 20th, 27th, 2021. Okay. By Armstrong Williams. Mm-mm. Hey. It's beautiful. Wow. It says, study shows that an empire survives on the average of, of a, a average a mere 20, 250 years. Did you know that? To put that into context, the world's oldest person received recently died at 124 years old, so she lived nearly half as long as most empires do. Most Americans are unaware of this small but crucial uh, statistic, 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 which may suggest much uh, about our country's future. It is past time for Americans to confront the painful reality that our time as a world superpower may be limited, and it and it, it is time to explore how to slow down what, well, frankly, it is uh, uh, inevitably at, uh, I, think, I think I'm pronouncing that right, at, the, at some point that the United States' global domination will not uh, uh, persist indefinitely. Persist indefinitely. This may be difficult to grasp and accept, but it is... It has never been true for any civilization in the past, and it would never be true for any uh, so, uh, society uh, in the future. I mean, am I pronouncing that word right? Okay. Well, yeah. So, America's on this last leg, man. So, if 250 50 years is uh, what's uh, uh, the death sentence of this place, that's, that's a couple of more years. Because we pretty much, we really, it's really 2023. Oh, I mean, really 2024 and uh, what, a couple months from now. We know uh, what, no, October, November, December, two more months. Hey, 60 more days, or a little bit low, over 60 more days. I say, mm, what's the date? 20, uh, I say about 70 more days. <laughs> It'll be 2024. You know, give or take. Who's to say um, if the Lord's going to get this place uh, that long? Okay, so let's grab one more scripture and we'll go ahead and end it. Uh, uh, I'd probably say a few of the words. Uh, I hit the choice words uh, like I supposed to, but forgive me for if I pronounced any of the words. Uh, okay, pronounced them in a wrong manner. Forgive me. Okay, this is uh, Job chapter fourteen and verse five. It says, "Seeing his days are determined." The number of his years are, his number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. 